morning guys and girls and welcome back. Today's little project is to convert the chest rig from um, MTP to darker uh, olive green. I've been reluctant to spray this beautiful piece of kit and I do feel guilty. I'll show you the colours that I'm preferring. If you look uh, over here I've got a U-back, a combination of plain olive green U-back and um, DPM um, so I'm thinking that that combination uh, will be a good dumbing down uh, for the kit. Obviously I'm going to keep my patrol pack as it is because it's pretty dark. But I tend to go for dark equipment. You can see already in the cupboard here the um, MTP uh, stands out rather light in dark conditions. So these are the colours and tones that I'm heading towards. Um, long term. Before I do that of course I have to show you that I've already tried the, the spray on uh, MTP pattern, a light pattern, and dumbed down my hat. It looks pretty effective. It does does the business. Now, I'm very fond of this chest rig. The name of the design is the Spartan MTP lightweight tack vest two-piece. It comes in two-piece front and back section and uh, plate carrier. So the plate carrier is now lightweight because of the plates have been removed and as well as the padding, uh, polystyrene padding inside, revealing the close up a nice convenient storage space on front and back uh, for keeping one's poncho and waterproof trousers. So it'll have a function uh, from that perspective, T again taking more baggage space out of your patrol pack and quick and easy access. Uh, so I, I don't want to spray this, it's a lovely piece of workmanship, but at the end of the day it's got to be functional, lightweight and uh, a pleasure to use. So I'm going to spray the bottom uh, ammo pouches, although I might switch them over at the end of the project to uh, uh, DPM pouches on the front. We'll see how it goes. I like the idea of having lids on my pouches so that if you tumble down a bank or whatever, uh, or you know, go through heavy cover, you don't fill your pouches up with uh, debris from the forest. Uh, and it's also good because you can waterproof and store your camera in one of the pouches ready for use and in the other pouch your necessary scarf and gloves. So I'm going to dismantle this now and spray it in, in its two sections. Uh, we'll see what the outcome is. It might take two cans, uh, but I'm hoping that the one tin will be sufficient. Stand by. And a slightly closer look at the rig shows that um, these pouches that I'm thinking of attaching to it uh, are actually slightly larger than the magazine pouches, pouches that are around at present. But anyway, I'll spray, I'll spray all the kit and see how it goes. Uh, but I think uh, the pouches might sit nicely in the centre there uh, and uh, carry quite a bit of necessary kit or to one side, but I think probably the centre. Covered up the velcro guys because it's very useful and I put a patch over the main velcro part as well so it's at least an option for the future use. So here goes. it guys it went really well um, I think it took about literally 10 minutes uh, first coat and I think the first coat might be quite sufficient um, says uh, Calford's camouflage paint 
a range of non-reflective paints which is good paintball accessories wildlife photography hides equipment military models of country pursuits so it's really suitable I think for paying spraying on uh, chest rigs uh, of course you have different colors you can use a template and uh, uh, different colours to it and turn it into DPM if you so choose, which is another option. Uh, so that's the chest rake finally sprayed. It's sacrilege from this guy here who, who gave it to me, uh, but I think he understood that that's probably what I would be doing as well. Uh, we're moving away from this lighter kit and going for darker equipment. Uh, so, a combination for me of dark olive green and DPM. Before I go, everybody, I must give a shout out has a great little channel and she's really uh, nicknamed I think lately uh, Camel Girl but her proper uh, uh, channel is Gillian Smith really pushing the boundaries when it comes to being covert and using uh, uh, great s uh, skills in, in disappearing into a forest. Her s films at the moment are silent movies uh, in uh, absorbing the atmosphere of the forest uh, as she said herself uh, there's only thing, one thing missing, and that's piano music in the background, like the old black and white movies. But I quite like that element, so maybe I should be doing more of the same as Julian as well. So, well done Julian. Shout out to Julian Smith, YouTube channel. Uh, give her a, a visit and subscribe to her if you can. I will show you the chest straight once I've got it properly and fully loaded and uh, ready for action operations, so to speak. So until next time, take care everyone and goodbye from me.